Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And this reading is going to be general, so it's not going to be for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can get a personal reading. If you want information for that, it's all in the description box. And the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right. Let's see what's going on with Libra. What are the overall energies? <clears throat> All right, so we have Observer and we have Solitude. All right, so it feels like somebody is feeling very lonely while they are observing the other person. All right, so it could be you or it could be them. I feel like there is obviously some kind of a separation or a distance between the two of you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're not talking at all. It's just that there's some distance between the two of you and one person is feeling very alone. All right, <clears throat> while observing the other. So let's get into this and see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of, ooh, what is going on here? May. And I just had the Page of Swords flip over, which is just like that Observer card. Somebody really um, <clears throat> following the other person, curious as to what is going on in their lives. All right, let's see. Libra. So for your energy, we have the Hermit, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Hmm. All right, so it feels like, yeah, you, I feel like you are in a little bit of solitude, actually, um, but I'm not sure if this is you that is feeling lonely, which is the energy I was getting with the first um, Oracle cards. I feel like you are just going within, you might be a little bit withdrawn, um, just from the world overall, not necessarily only from this, from this person or from this connection. And I feel like what you're doing is you're trying to plant the seed, you're trying to work on something. And that something is really something that you want, <laughs> something you want really badly here, a wish fulfillment. So it could even be working on yourself in order to... Um, bring this connection into fruition or to fix something or resolve something within this connection. Whatever it is, I feel like you're trying to plant the seeds towards having some kind of a result here when it comes to what it is that you feel will fulfill you. Let's see for them. We have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right, so this person feels like there's either something that they're not agreeing with, something, I'm even getting almost like something that they don't like. I, 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 I feel like a sense of frustration maybe, even though there is, there's a lot of desire here to have you. They're seeing you as this queen of wands. They, they're seeing you as somebody very, very desirable, like see, thinking very, very highly of you. But there's also some frustration here. Um, <clears throat> maybe feeling like, you know, that there's no sense of agreement. Possibly just feeling a little bit indecisive when it comes to this connection. Let's see what is coming up. We have the star. We have justice. And the Hierophant. All right, wow, three major arcana. And a message for you here is the King of Swords. All right, which is your element, <clears throat> very um, determined energy, very decisive, very confident, very cool as well. Um, wow, this future energy, just wow. It, it just feels so different than the current energy. There's a lot of hope here. There's also a lot of healing. There's a lot of um, balance coming in, commitment, um, spirituality, higher learning, um, possibly even, even a major decision being made here with justice, which I feel is going to be um, something that is something that maybe you both have been wanting and wishing for. 
So let's clarify. And whatever that is, I feel like it's going to happen with a lot of determination. And that can be on both of your ends. So let me clarify the Hermit. Ooh, all right, we got quite a bit there. So we have the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the High Priestess. I'm just going to put them here. All right. So this to me feels like you're doing a lot of inner work, actually. Um, you're you're withdrawn, but you're withdrawn for for good reason. This is you really tapping into your your intuition, your higher self, and I feel like you're you're really beginning to trust that. And whatever it is, whatever this is that you are trying to resolve, that you are trying to fix or plant the seeds for in order to get what you want, it, it is something that is very difficult. It's something that is very difficult. It is something that requires you to move in a new direction here. And I feel like you are. I feel like you are doing that with some enthusiasm, even though it feels like it is a huge, huge challenge and it can almost feel impossible at times. But I do see you moving towards something that is going to be a lot more um, conflict-free, leaving old baggage behind because of this. So whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like, you know, keep doing it because it's working. It is definitely moving you in the right direction here. Right, let's see the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords wanted to come out as well. Like it was like, um, <laughs> after I got these four cards, it was the fifth one, it kind of flipped over, but I put it back. And let's see, if a card wants to come out, it will come out. <laughs> so clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. So that's really interesting because we have the Two of Swords in their energy as well. So you are trying to set the stage here. You're trying to set something up, but I feel like there's some fear. There's some fear about how it might work out. There's some fear as to whether whatever it is that you're doing, will that also be um, compatible with whatever situation your person will be in or whatever state of mind they will be in. That's what this feels like. But I feel like you're doing it anyway, and I feel like that's a good thing that you're doing it anyway because it... In the end, it shouldn't even matter. You know, you have to do you. You have to do what is best for you. Um, follow your in, your own intuition as you are doing. And you know, if if it turns out that whatever it is that you're doing is actually moving you away from this person or away from this connection, there's a reason for that. It it does not mean that you won't end up together. It doesn't mean that you will end up together. It's it's like two different things. It, what I'm getting here is that that shouldn't be something that you you should allow to hinder you. Okay, let's see the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords. Oh, okay. You, you're moving ahead. I mean, you're really moving forward. And for... I don't know what this Three of Swords is, but there's something painful here. There is something that also causes you some pain in order to get to what it is that you want. And it could be, you know, that maybe you're doing some kind of healing that might be a little bit painful. Maybe it is coming to terms with certain things, you know, within yourself or going or about the other person. Whatever it is. I feel like you're still, you're, you, there's a lot of action here. Like you're really moving towards that wish fulfillment. And so the message here is, you know, don't allow fear. <laughs> this could even be just a fear of, of being hurt, a fear of being heartbroken, maybe even a fear of being alone for some of you. But mostly I feel like it's a fear of there being um, pain or maybe of even something ending for good to the point where it will, it, you feel like it would bring you a lot of pain. Um, but again, that's just that's just a fear. It's just, I feel like it's just an illusion in, in your mind. 
which can happen sometimes when you overanalyze things or when you just allow your mind to take over and you think too much. Whereas you, you're in tune with your intuition. So go with that. All right, let's see what's going on with the other person here. See the two of swords. All right, we have the Queen of Wands showing up again. This is the second time that the Queen of Wands is showing up for them. And the Two of Pentacles. All right, so we have two twos in their energy towards you. Again, uh, they're seeing you as somebody very, very desirable. You're somebody that they really want to be with is what I'm getting here. Um, but there's also this uncertainty. There's, a, there's an uncertainty here when it comes to you, uh, almost as if almost as if there's something they're not seeing or something they feel like they might not be seeing here that might be going on. And this is something that is causing them to kind of like, you know, be almost like on a seesaw like going one way and then going the other and then coming back and it, it, like an up and down kind of an energy here. Let's see if we can clear this up by clarifying the Knight of Wands. The Seven of Swords and Justice showing up again for the second time. It almost feels like this person has the sense maybe that things are just kind of slipping out of their control. Things are slipping away from them and this is causing some frustration. Or they might feel like, again, like there's something that they don't know. Like if you're being very reserved, they feel like maybe you're hiding something. But we also have justice attached to this, which is telling me that there is a reason why this is happening. Um, I feel like there is there could be some underlying karma that is playing out throughout this and this could be also related to this person's um, to the frustration that they might be feeling or you know this this imbalance of back and forth. But what I get here is that through this situation that is being balanced out. This could even be related again as I said for the future energy that I feel like there's a decision being made here. Um, it could even be that whatever it is that's happening here this feeling like something is slipping out of their control is what might lead this person to to making a decision or to um finding some kind of a balance within themselves because i see them as being a little bit imbalanced here so i do see this justice as being more of a future energy rather than in the current energy it's just what this what this is leading up to which could even be that they don't know so i do get the sense that for some of you uh, or actually for most of you it could be that it's this person who is being the observer here and kind of being a little bit sneaky about it oh, let's see let me clarify the queen of wands <laughs> the page of swords. Yeah, exactly. All right. So this is the person who is observing. This is the person who is very curious as to what is going on with you. I feel like they feel like they're not seeing something. They feel like you might be hiding something. It's causing them some frustration, which is ultimately leading to justice. It's leading to some kind of a, a decision here. Um, we also have the four of wands clarifying the, the queen of wants together with that page of swords so yeah they're they're viewing you as somebody that they really want they're viewing you as somebody that they belong with somebody that they feel at home with feeling a very strong connection here and it could be that this person maybe hadn't realized it before um to this extent but definitely definitely feeling the connection here and really observing you trying to figure out what is going on. So let's see what is coming up. Let me clarify, let me clarify justice. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, so we have the Five of Swords and we have the Six of Cups. So when it comes to a connection from the past, and I feel like it is with, with you here, there has been a lot of a lot of deception all right in the past and it could even be self-deception or somebody being a little bit manipulative somebody just wanting to have it all having their cake and eat it too whoever that is all right there is justice here there is a balancing out and a major decision being made it's like you know whatever that behavior was in the past that is being corrected So let's see the let's see the hierophant. This is where things are moving towards, and there is a lot of hope. I'm seeing all of this in a very positive light, just because I mean we're we're starting this off with the star, and that is just such a beautiful beautiful card to have in that position. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. All right. Uh, it, yeah, I'm telling you, it feels like, you know, things are progressing slowly. There is a shift that is coming up here. Okay. When it comes to a commitment, it, it might feel like it's, it's a little bit slowly, but it is happening very, very strategically and possibly also very, very cautiously. But what this is leading to is this 10 of cups, ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfillment. And I feel like, you know, this is coming up for you. It's really just a matter of, of time. A matter of time and things just really balancing out and I feel like when it does happen you know it's going to happen with a lot of determination or take this as encouragement for you if this is if there is a decision that you are making you know um, here if there is something that you are working on be confident with that you have clarity you know what is going on here you are standing in your power or stand in your power because you totally have what it takes to get that nine of cups to get what it is that you want and again, I feel like it's by being in that hermit energy. All right, so Libra, if this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's get your final message. All right, and we have hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. So yeah, that's like this star card, all right? There is a lot of hope here. There's a lot of hope here for you. So Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.